This is the new updated setup video for the new OrderLogic app for restaurants. We will set up a restaurant user on the back end and then show how the restaurant interacts through the OrderLogic app. From your admin page, select the Users button and then enter an email address in the box where it says Add a New User and select the role you want to assign from the drop-down. In this case, you will select Restaurant. You will then click on the Create User button. Since I already have a user programmed, I will use that. But it will take us to the next page in the creation process. On this page, you will first enter a name, usually the restaurant name as a first and last name, and assign a password. Hit Save in this box. Now in the box to the right, you will assign a menu that will send orders to the tablet. More than one menu can be assigned to send to one tablet. Hit Save. I would also like to mention here that with the app login credentials you just created, the restaurant can also log in from your admin screen and set up their partner pay accounts if that is available to you. Now that we have created the user, let's log in to the OrderLogic app. We recommend using the app in the landscape orientation. To the left is the functions menu and it defaults to the top one of orders and displays the order viewing screen to the right. That area has three columns active, completed, and scheduled. When a new order comes in, the order appears in the active area and an alert will sound that says new order and will continue until the order is open. Once the order is open, the restaurant has three options. They can add or decrease the amount of time an order will take to be ready. They can accept an order or they can decline an order if you have that option enabled. If they add time and accept, it will show on your dispatch screen as delayed and send the driver a new pickup time for the order. If they reject the order, it will turn the order red and move it to the top of your dispatch screen. At that point, you would call the restaurant to see if you can convince them to make it or find out why they are refusing and then handle the customer accordingly, either by canceling or seeing if they are willing to wait for the restaurant if the restaurant's busy. If the restaurant accepted the order and makes the food, they can mark the order ready and it will send an alert to the driver to enter and get the food. This way, your drivers can wait outside and not crowd the pickup area in the restaurant and also let your dispatcher know the food is ready in case they need to find out where the driver is. Once the restaurant marks the order ready, it will move to their completed column. Any future orders you send them will show up in the scheduled column only if you send it to them. It will move into the active column at the appropriate time of scheduled pickup. Live chat will be coming soon to communicate with the dispatch team, but if they click on the chat button, a phone number to your support team will be displayed. The menu button allows the restaurant to make unavailable items they may have run out of and set a turn on date for when the item will be available again. It could be the next day or not available for a week. Soon, restaurants will have the ability to add items like daily specials and also adjust the price on items themselves if pricing needs updating. The debugging button is something that tech support may ask for a screenshot of if there are any issues with the app.
The logout button will help clear up any issues that might pop up. Just ask them to log out and then log back in to see if it fixes any issues that they may have. This concludes the setup and operation of the OrderLogic app. If you have any questions, reach out to support and we will be happy to help.